right, guys. <laughs> this is a little awkward, but this is what our assignment's going to be today. So what you're going to do is you're going to have this sheet that I'm giving everybody, and I'll show you how to use it. We're going to focus on proportion today, and we're also going to focus on something called blocking or drawing in, okay? So you're going to set yourself up with a pumpkin and a shell, and you're going to do observational drawing um, onto the sheet that I gave you. And there's two sides to this, so you're going to do this twice. Um, first, what you're going to do is you're going to draw um, the pumpkin and the shell within the confines of this little area, okay? And you want to make sure that you fill the space. You don't draw it too teeny, but you also don't draw it too big so that it gets cut, gets cut off on the side, okay? And then on the opposite side of this, you're going to do the same thing, but we have a bigger space to work with here. So um, if you want to rearrange this, you can. Um, on the second side, it's the same idea, except this time we're scaling up. We want to fill the space with our little pumpkin and our shell, because um, we don't want to draw super tiny and have a bunch of extra white space where there's nothing. We want to fill the space nicely. We don't want to draw too small. We don't want to draw too big where things come off the side. We want them to kind of fit comfortably in there. Okay, so my recommendation to you is to get started by simply setting up your pumpkin and your shell in a way that's pleasing for you. And then you come to this step right here, and this is known as blocking in. So basically, you're not getting very detailed at all. You're just blocking in the basic shape of your subjects and the basic proportional sizes. Obviously, my little pumpkin's bigger than my shell, and I wanna make sure that I draw my pumpkin big enough so it fills the space, but I also have enough room to fill the, to fill the space up with that shell. And I am paying attention to the size proportion of the shell of the shell to the pumpkin, and also paying attention to the proportion and size of just filling up my space right here. And this is something you're gonna have to do with your shoe project. Some of you might bring in really big shoes that you have to scale down when you draw on your paper. Some of you might come in with smaller shoes that you have to scale up. Now, as you see on the other side, I already started the other side. I rearranged the pumpkin and the shell when I started to do this side, just to show you. And I started blocking in my shapes. Now, I'm not sure that I'm happy with this. I think I might be able to fill up the space a little better with my pumpkin and my shell, but please notice I didn't just draw, like block it in really, really tiny. I really do want to fill the space nicely. So I'm actually going to redo this one, but let's come back to the front. You block in your shapes. And once you're happy and you think that you filled the space well and you create a nice little composition, that's when you can actually start to go in and really draw this thing and draw exactly what you see from the angle that you see it in, which is what you're going to be doing with your shoes. So um, let's go ahead and do that. We will do both sides of this. We'll do a smaller scale down and a bigger one scaled up. We're going to draw everything. Okay. Whoops. And then whichever one comes out better, you can go ahead and grab your favorite ink pen and um, line your drawing with the ink pen. And remember to add um, line weight um, so that we can see a little bit of light and a little bit of dark with these objects. So that's it. So good luck. 